Today we're going to talk about all things Canva. Have you ever wanted to learn how to design your own logo using Canva? How to create a mood board? How to actually get your branding established using Canva and Pinterest? I'm going to walk you guys through step by step how you can come up with the different graphic design elements, different fonts, different colors, everything your brand needs to feel professional, consistent, cohesive, and to grab your audience's attention. So if you're excited for this video, let's jump right into the tutorial. Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl Nye and this is Slay the Renee Way, a place where passionate entrepreneurs can come to grow, glow, and succeed in their small businesses. So if that sounds like you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because your girl just hit 100k and I'm still dropping gym after gym after gym. So let's talk about really quickly why is it important to have a logo as a business owner. There are a couple of different reasons but I'm going to list them all out for you now. The first being a very obvious one, your brand needs some sort of identity. A logo basically serves as like a visual representation of what your brand is. It's a crucial element of your brand's identity and it's something that your customers need to see so that they get a feel for what your business has to offer. You also want to be able to distinguish your brand from your competitors and make sure that people recognize who you are. Which leads me to our second reason why a logo is important, recognition. A really nicely designed logo will be memorable, it will be distinct, and it will be something that your customers have they ever come across it. They'll be able to remember that, oh, this is so-and-so's business. I remember seeing her wherever I saw her. And it's something that your customers will have a visual reminder of every time they see your brand. So it basically makes it easier for your customers to identify your business over others. The third most important reason why you need a logo is professionalism, y'all. Obviously, we want to be professional. We want to convey that our business is established. And we want people to take us seriously. I've seen people start a business without a logo. And people just... Psh, Brush right past it because if you're not coming off in a professional manner, how do you expect your customer to feel trustworthy enough to want to shop with you? So a logo is for professionalism. But then we also need our logo for marketing and communication. You can use your logo both online and offline, but in today's society, we are pretty much using like online marketing tools. So again, a consistent and recognizable logo enhances your ability to be able to be seen by a large audience of people. And it also helps you to communicate your brand's message effectively. The biggest reason why is legal protection. Once you register your logo, you can provide a certain amount of legal coverage to where someone can't just steal your whole brand from underneath you and take your business idea and run off with it. So establishing your logo, making sure that everything is covered legally, enhances your ability to be able to be a legitimate business and not have people stealing your ideas. So those are the reasons why we need a logo. We all understand now that it's a fundamental part of our business structure and our business identity. Now I want to show you guys how you can actually use Canva to design a logo for free. First things first, you're going to want to open up your Canva dashboard. Once you're in your Canva dashboard, we're going to go through something really quick and simple. I want to show you a professionally designed logo that's using simple graphic elements. A lot of the time, people get carried away with too many colors, too many graphical elements, too much going on, too many different fonts to the point where they feel like they're trying to encompass their entire brand into one graphic design. And that's just not the way to go, you guys. What you should be doing is making sure that your brand is an entire thing. There are so many more things that go into your brand other than a logo, things that include, so just to name a few, we've already gone over the fact that your brand includes a logo, but then you also need a color palette, your typography, your brand's message, your brand story, different visual elements, your target audience definition, brand experience, consistency. You also can do different logo variations. You need a digital presence as well as a physical presence for your business, depending on what you're selling, obviously. But so those are just a few things that you actually need to make your brand stand out and to build a strong, cohesive brand that resonates with your target audience. So now that I've spilled all of that again, let's jump right onto Canva. One of my favorite things about Canva is the fact that you can use so many different free templates without even having to lift a finger. You can have a logo design just like that. What I like to do first, though, is go over to the top search bar on the top screen of your homepage on Canva and depending on what your brand is you want to type that element in first and then put logo so if you are a clothing brand you can put clothing design logo if you are a makeup artist put makeup logo if you sell food sell food logo so for this example purpose we're going to do let's say we sell candles and so we'll type in candle logo and see what Canva already has to offer and then we'll go from there. Now for this tutorial, you do not need Canva Pro, but if you do have Canva Pro, there are a lot of different elements and opportunities to expand the way that your logo design looks. I do have Canva Pro and I 
I highly recommend it. But yeah, so here are the different logo templates that we've come up with. I like this simple modern circle. Notice that a lot of these logos don't have a lot going on. You have the name of your business, a graphic or two, and then that's it. You can pretty much choose whatever graphic logo you want to go with, but this is an example, so I'm going to show you guys what I would do if I was designing a logo. Next, once you've selected your template design, you're going to go ahead and click Customize this Template, and Canvas is going to open up your workspace, and this is where it gets fun. Okay, so this is obviously for a skincare brand. We're trying to sell candles, so we're going to change that up first and foremost. Claudia Alves, but let's change a couple of different things about this. Now, the first thing that I want you guys to notice is that there are only two colors on this logo. There's a creamish colored background and then black text. That's perfectly okay. You do need a color palette for your business, but you don't have to encompass every single color in your logo design because you will have different variations of your logo. So let's see. We're going to name our candle business Renee Candles. So first we're going to change this letter C. You can just select it simply like that. And we're going to change that to an R. And we'll change this to C. Okay, Renee Candles. I'm just changing everything to make it match my brand. And we're going to say Hand Poured in Maryland. Okay, simple just like that, right? I've pretty much designed my logo just like that. But there's something else I want to show you guys. Say you wanted to expand your color palette for this logo. What you can do, I like to go over to Pinterest and I like to get like different color palette inspiration for the theme and the message and the feel and the tone of the brand. So let's look up, say I want a candle business that feels beachy. I want something that feels like you're going to a tropical island. So okay. And if you scroll through Pinterest, y'all, they already have so many of them. A lot of them also include the hex codes, which is really helpful because we can transfer that right over to Canva. So I'm just going to select one, but I want to show you what I mean by beachy. Like these blues, this yellow, this orange, or even this one right here. This is like a shoreline. Oh, wow, this is very beautiful. So we're going to use this as our color palette. And we're going to make the color palette over on Canva. And let me upload our color palette directly onto this workspace because we'll pull the colors directly from this photo. Canva has this really cool feature where they can pick up on the colors that are in the photo you're using. Okay, so here is my color palette. Now I'm going to add a circle onto my workspace by hitting C on my keyboard. If you press C on your keyboard, Canva will automatically upload a circle. So now we're going to put that first color. And if you can see here, once I click the color button at the top, over here on the left it says photo colors and it's it's already pulled out every single color out of this photo for me so my color palette is done 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 just like that so I'm gonna do this and now I just want to duplicate Oh, should have made this a little smaller make sure that you make your circles a little small so they can all fit so now I'm just gonna go back to the color tab at the top and change the rest of these colors to match the photo because that is the color palette that we're using it's a beachy color palette and that brown okay now if you want to take it a step further so that no matter what you're using whether or not it be designing your website business cards social media posts you now have your logo design at the top but then directly beneath this you have a color palette and I like to change the page title to reflect exactly what it is so this is my color palette Page one is the logo design number one, because we will do another variation of this logo where we might use another graphical element. Okay, so I'm gonna take it a step further, you guys. We wanna add a text box and put our hex codes directly, just like you see in this photo, we wanna put our hex codes right next to our symbols so that whatever else we're going to design, our hex code is right there. Okay, so we're gonna click this color and just copy and paste and do that for every single one And done. Color palette is successfully completed. 
The next thing that we need to do is figure out what our typography, aka the fonts for our brand are going to be. Now in this example we've already used I think this is two different fonts. Let me double check. Brown sugar. Yes. Okay. So we already have two different fonts. So we're going to duplicate our logo and we're going to name this font so that whenever we go back into Canva to design something else, we know exactly what the name of our font is. So this one is called brown sugar. So let me make this a little smaller and I want to widen it and just type the name of the font brown sugar. Okay, that's our main font. This is the main font right here. Next, we need our sub font, which is called Monsterat Classic. So we're going to type that in. Or Montserrat Classic. I'm probably saying that wrong. Okay, and you need a couple of different fonts, you guys. So we're going to pick like two or three more fonts that we can use sporadically throughout our business. So let me just go ahead and add a text box. And play around with Canva, y'all. They have so many different free fonts. Oh, how about this? We can use Monster Rock. Why do I keep saying saying Monster Rock? Monster Rock. Light. And let's do something else that's similar to Brown Sugar. Let's scroll through and see what we have. Not too fancy, but... Hmm. Okay, this looks like a bolder version, so we can use the Fidel font. Okay, now we're going to change the title of this page to typography because this is our this is now our Canva logo brand design mood board where everything that we need for our brand is all in one spot. Next, we need to go ahead and get some graphic elements for our logo. So let's delete all of this. And we're going for a beachy theme. So our brand is supposed to make you feel like you're on the island, like you're at the beach, the scent, the smells that you might see at the beach. So let's look up beachy elements and see what we can use. Canva does have a couple of different beachy looking elements that we want to use, but we don't want to be too over the top, you guys. You want something that is simplistic enough that if you just use this graphic design element and the name of your brand, someone can recognize what your brand is. So I like to use line art. I don't really like too many colors on the graphics that I'm using for my brand. So let's find something like a palm tree. Okay, so here is an example of what one graphic element that we can use in our brand. They actually have a couple of different trees here with different lines. So you can pick which one you like, but I'm just going to put them all here just to see. Hmm. And then let me copy. So if I'm just using the RC... Which of these trees do I feel like complements the RC best? Let's see. I kind of like... I kind of like this first one. Because if you see, I'm going to make this a little bit larger. I like that it has the line going through. I'm actually going to rotate it a little bit. Make it a little bigger. Oh, that's very nice. Okay, so this is what we will use for our graphic element for our brand. Now we can choose one more. I feel like two elements is good enough. Let's choose one more to make another variation of the logo. Let's say we decided to use this circular logo option. Now I'm going to move this up out the way. And once again, I'm going to copy and paste just the RC. Bring this down. And I think the best way to do this is to just put it right beside it. Something like that. Now, something else that we can do, you guys, is we can change the font color. Now that we have our actual branding colors, let's see what happens if we change the font colors to reflect our brand. Oh, wow, that's beautiful. Same thing up here. Let's change this tree to that green Okay, so now here are two different variations of our logo that we can use whenever we're going on social media, we're designing our website, or even if we're doing like, um, say you want to design like different clothes and flyers and things that go with your brand. 
here are two condensed versions of the logo that we can use. So, so far we have our graphic design elements, our color palette, typography, and our logo. I feel like we're doing good, but there's one more thing that we need to do. There's one more thing that I want to show you guys how to do, and that is come up with an effective brand message. So we're going to head over to ChatGPT, and we're going to tell ChatGPT to help us design and create a branding message that coordinates with the brand that we just designed. Obviously, we're going to tweak this to match and be more authentic, but I want to get a good idea of what we can use. Let's see. Transport your senses to tranquil shores. Experience the essence of paradise with brand name candles. So we're going to say Renee Candles. Immerse yourself in the gentle flow and soothing aroma of our handcrafted warm scented candles that evoke the blissful memories of your beach vacation or tropical island stay. Let the flickering flame and the enticing fragrances take you on a sensory journey, bringing the bringing the calming essence of sun-kissed shores and ocean breezes into your home. Elevate your ambiance, unwind, and let Renee's candles be your passport to a perpetual paradise. <laughs> Verbiage, wording. And using all of the five senses is something that's very important when you're doing your branding message because you want your customer to feel like they are inside of the Renee's Candles business. We want them to get a really in-depth experience. And like Chad GPT says, we're taking them on a sensory journey with these candles. Every time you light a candle in your home, I want you to feel like you are in your happy place on the beach, at your tropical island stay, somewhere in Costa Rica, Puerto Rico, Jamaica, whatever the case may be. So we're going to copy and paste this directly into our Canva workspace. This is what we will refer to whenever we're talking about our brand. You want people to really, really, really understand Renee's Candles. Use your branding message as often as you can, or at least pick out a few of the words that you have seen here and repeat those words throughout your branding. Whether Okay, so here is our branding message. And I'm gonna actually change this to Renee Candle Branding Board. And that was the last thing that I wanted to show you guys how to do with your Canva designing of your logo, how to get the most professional logo experience and to really build a strong brand. This will give you a good basis of where to start and anytime you're doing anything with your brand, now you have one place to refer to. So I hope that this tutorial was helpful for you guys. If you did enjoy it, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to this channel and comment down below and let me know if you guys need any more branding related topics or if you just want simple Canva tutorials for entrepreneurs and to help you elevate your small business, let me know below in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Love you guys. Peace.